Let's talk about my six tips for dry, itchy skin. So if you are suffering with eczema and psoriasis, this video is for you. Now we know that psoriasis is an autoimmune disorder caused by something that's going on in the gut. So if you've heard my other videos and me speak about leaky gut syndrome and your hormonal balance as well is related back to this, your leptin resistance. And if you don't know what that is, it's all about your fat cells and that connection, that signaling with your brain and what your brain is telling your entire metabolism to do or not to do based on your leptin levels. Now this is something that, yeah, tying back to that overall inflammation in the body and that autoimmunity and that leaky gut, this is why I've always said from the inside out we've got to deal with that dry, itchy skin, things like psoriasis, and heal the inside to be able to see those changes in the skin on the outside. Now there is some evidence between this link with leptin and psoriasis in particular. So this study suggests that leptin can aggravate psoriasis by interfering with the differentiation of keratinocytes by inducing insulin resistance. So isn't that interesting? So again, addressing that leptin signaling, addressing the insulin signaling, maybe you've got metabolic syndrome and that's tied into your psoriasis, your eczema, and this is why my tips are going to be all encompassing. So let's talk about now the six tips for that dry, itchy skin and for psoriasis. Okay, number one, you've got to get more natural sunlight on your skin and in your eyes. So that means without sunglasses, without sunscreen, you've got to take off your layers of clothing, get as much natural sunlight ex exposure as possible. It's very healing to the skin. I've got other videos in particular on how to do that sunlight exposure in a safe way. Even if you have the most light skin and you're very sensitive to that sunlight, there are natural and healthy ways to do that. Okay, tip number two for dry itchy skin and psoriasis is to fix your leptin and insulin resistance. Now one tip here, I know it might be a little bit challenging, is to not have any more sugar. So refined sugar is a no-no when you're trying to fix your insulin, your blood glucose levels, and especially that leptin signaling as well. Okay, tip number three for that dry itchy skin is to do a full body detox. Now this is important, using herbal medicines to cleanse out those internal organs, using things from nature that na Mother Nature has designed for us to be able to detoxify our liver, our lungs, our kidneys, the blood, the lymphatic system. There are easy ways to do that. I promise that we'll share some links below. Okay, number four, fix that gut microbiome. So this is something that, yes, if you have an imbalance between your good and bad bacteria in the gut, that live microecology needs to be fixed. And that has a lot to do with what we're seeing externally on the skin, especially if you do have psoriasis, you gotta fix that leaky gut and that gut microbiome. Okay, tip number five for that dry itchy skin is to improve your skin barrier function. So including more seafood in your diet or maybe even taking a high DHA supplement like a fish oil that's higher in that DHA is super healing to the skin. It helps with your skin barrier function. It also helps to supply those electrons which help to quench some of that inflammation that's going on in the skin. And tip number six is to use a topical oil blend. Now this is something that I share in another video. I do want you to check it out. Using specific essential oils in a blend that you can use for psoriasis, great for eczema as well. It's super cooling to the skin, helps to quench any dehydration that's happening in the skin and is really a powerful anti-inflammatory as well. Feels very soothing. You're gonna love it. So please check out this video, Dry Itchy Skin Home Remedy. You're gonna love it.